Hey everyone, a happy Facebook Live. We're doing this from the home. We got Josh Rugger, Chief Meteorologist Dan Scoff right here from my house. So, you know, sometimes the internet might be a little sketchy. The computer isn't as uh, beefy as the one in the weather lab. So Josh, let me know if I'm cutting in and out, all right? Oh no, absolutely not. Your audio sounds fantastic right now. And uh, yes, I mean, the reason why we're doing this weather live stream right now is because we've got uh, new information about the potential winter storm. Uh, coming up tomorrow, obviously, uh, winter storm warning issued for portions of our weather coverage area. So uh, we're about less than 24 hours from this event. So we need to give an update this weekend. And a lot of uncertainty still. Still, yeah. even though we're, we're 24, we're less than 24 hours out from this storm, um, we still have a lot of uncertainty. And we're going to dive into that. Now, I'm going to just say this straight up as far as snow totals is concerned. Um, I think the snow totals are going to range about two to four inches with maybe some probably most likely some higher amounts. But on average, when you look at the entire area, two to four inches and you might be going, oh, Dan, that's not nearly enough. Yeah, it, it might not be. I mean, the storm system may be overperforming, but I think it's best to play a conservative approach, not just going for the highest totals. And I know for you snow lovers, you're probably wanting more. If we get more, great. The bottom line is, is that it will be impactful because yes. the snow that's coming down will stick. It's going to be below freezing. In fact, we have another surge of cold air coming in. And so all of these things can change. And so I'm going to show you why making a snow forecast even 24 hours out is nearly impossible. <laughs> it's um, like you're going to the casino. It, it really is. It's like you're playing blackjack and you're trying to see if you can beat the dealer. The dealer is the model guidance and you're you're trying to win and it's it's tough. The house is against you sometimes. <laughs> it's like <laughs> I'm going to hit for more snow. More snow, more snow. 23 bucks. Bust. <laughs> you know, exactly. That's a great way to put it. Yeah. Uh, the house always wins, too. All right. Yep. So this is a uh, like the cap. Uh, yeah, I got the Razorback cap. Got yeah. the Arkansas football shirt on. I'm ready to rock and roll, baby. Yes, sir. Uh, Jacob, Jacob's always the extreme. Severe weather, <laughs> increasing, thunder, snow, all this stuff. I know Jacob loves extreme weather. There's no doubt about that. So um, this does not look like a thunder snow type scenario. It just doesn't. Sometimes things can happen. Dramatic things can take place. But I don't see thunder snow with this type of setup. I see a, I see a heavy snow band that it sets up, uh, you know, mesoscale wise, probably most likely in the southern part, uh, southern part of northwest Arkansas. So, Jeff, you're, we're going to go through some comments so we can kind of catch up on this, and then we're going to look at some data. Looks like it trended more in the River Valley than northwest Arkansas. Well, let me tell you, be cautious what you say, because this system isn't even on the coast yet. Here's yeah. a look at the spin in the atmosphere. You see that spin? This storm system performed way more than what Oregon was expecting. The weather service out of Oregon said, oh, boy, we went way too low for the totals. But there's the spin in the atmosphere. This is the water vapor. That's a pretty tightly compact system. But look, it's not on the coast yet. So all yep. the upper air sounding networks aren't showing any of this. So really, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised in the least if the 12Z models change a lot from – or the 0Z change a lot from the 12Z. So because the system by 0Z, by the time they launch the soundings tonight um, – you know, that's possible. Jeff said, ah, but it's being sneaky. So it already may dump more. So he's he, he's well aware of it. He's on top of it. Yes. Courtney Ward, have you left town yet? No. Uh, apparently not. <laughs> so we'll show you why. That's yeah, the, well, let's just say that the Weather Prediction Center knows. They, they yeah, know so, all about the Colby effect now and its powers. So this is the Winter Weather Prediction Center. Let's see. Yeah, look at this. This is the possibility <laughs> of potential storm winter impacts. And look, <laughs> so right funny. over northwest Arkansas, just minor impacts. But you know what? This is based off of computer models. And, yeah. uh, you know, we all know that they're they're not right all the time. Merle said, gorgeous day before the next one. Isn't that true? Classic. Kara uh, uh, is team snow. For sure. <laughs> um, let's see here. Rena 
Hey guys, so we're gonna get frozen already. Laugh out loud. Yeah, we are. Oh, yeah. my video is frozen. It's gonna jump in and out, so you're just gonna have to bear with me. I'm not on my son's gaming computer. Oh, uh, you're not on that loaded PC there. Not playing no, Lethal Company. No. <laughs> not loaded on the the GTI um, Nvidia. What does he have? He has a twenty thirty seventy, I think. I don't. Yeah, I don't he was talking. He was talking to me yesterday about one that was kind of a scam. That was uh, I don't the forty seventy, right? Yeah, the forty seventy. That's what he was saying. Yeah, blackjack has the best odds, though. That's true. True. It's it's way better than die than uh, rolling the dice for craps. Although that <laughs> is exactly what the models are—a big crap shoot. Yep. So. Hey, do I see a Kraken sweatshirt? Kraken hockey, baby. <laughs> Let's go squids. <laughs> How are they doing this year? You know, they're on a seven-game win streak right now, Dan. They are rolling. And uh, I think they're going to have another postseason run this year. I'm, I'm feeling pretty excited about this team. So Tamara, uh, Tamara, not Tamara, T Tamara says 2011 was not a heavy snow guest, too. Yep. You know, in all honesty, even Josh <laughs> – uh, Leachman, my friend, remembers when I was like, you know what? Wichita did not expect that much snow, and they ended up getting it. And I want to show you something here. Yeah, February 9th, 2011. The time when the models were really wrong. They were way off of that system. So I'm going to show you this real quick. He said, I remember you saying something about how the snow that broke out over Kansas that preceded our 2-9 event was a big sign it was going to overproduce. So there's me saying, knowing that the system coming in on February 9th, 2011, we caught it before it ended up dumping, but we didn't say two feet. I mean, no, nobody said two feet. Come <laughs> yeah. on. That's just a an extreme rare circumstance when that happens. Like All right. So yes, we do have more winter weather coming. Yeah. Uh, bring on the snow says surprise. Benton County was not included in the winter storm warning can always be added. Let's get to it and let's show you some of those graphics. Um, there's so many things that are on top of us right now, Josh, that it's not even funny. So here's a look at, Fayetteville's Drake Field, um, 28 right now, not above freezing. And we have a wind chill of uh, 17. So, so far it has not gotten above freezing, although look at the high, expected to be 25. It's already warmer. Of course, Drake Field is always warmer, it seems like. Um, they have 80% chance of snow. If you're wondering about the timing, this is going to be in the afternoon. We're going to get into that here in just a bit. But – uh, let's look at um, winds north at 13 miles an hour. Uh, so this is what I was going to show you. There's a wind chill advisory. There's a wind chill watch. And there's a winter <laughs> storm warning. All three of these are on top of each other. So when you go to the actual map from the weather service, you don't see anything. Oh, now you do. Okay. Well, let me go back here. So, so there I you go. There's the uh, winter storm warning. Mm -hmm. And the winter storm warning does not include Benton County. And there's reason for that is because the models have been trending farther south on the snowfall. Does that mean that Benton County can't be included later? No, it doesn't. But if we go to our snowfall maps, let's go ahead and we'll check that out here. So I've got my weather graphics pulled up. So you're going to have to bear with the full screen because uh, – that's all we can do. I can't take a certain size of the screen. So let's, uh, and the scrolling of the mouse doesn't work very well. Here's the four panels. So, and then we're going to look at the ensembles and then we're going to look at the mediagrams and you're going to see how difficult this forecast is. So 3.5 to 3.2, 4.1, Fort Smith, 3.5. Now keep in mind, I really honestly think that these are underdone because of the snow ratios. We're talking about a liquid equivalent of around 20 to 1. This is a cold snow event. And cold snow events typically bring more than what shows up on the accumulation because you're not dealing with compaction. You're not dealing with melting. 
Uh, the European shows less. I think the European is a little fast, honestly. And I think it's underdone on the amount of energy that's coming in. That's a strong system. I don't think the models are going to handle the dynamics perfectly. And the GFS around three inches. But, but they've all been hinting at this bullseye in southeast Arkansas, 24 hours out from now. But you know what? That's not actually the snow for Sunday. That is the snow for Monday for, for Arkansas. That's when it actually starts coming down in Arkansas is on Monday. The NAM is the greatest out of all of them. So, Josh, what's your thoughts on this? We're going to bring these up individually. Yes. Yeah, so so it's a very important point, and uh, you and I were discussing this uh, over our group text uh, earlier on today. Um, the snowfall ratios, uh, yes, that, that plays a big role in our forecast. Obviously, most of these are assuming that they're 10 to 1, which is that heavy wet snow that we typically get in northwest Arkansas, but because those temperatures are so cold, that's why we're talking about snowfall ratios uh, anywhere between 17 to 1 to maybe even up to 25 to 1 in some locations. So... The one thing I have noticed, uh, especially with the higher resolution models uh, like the Graph and the HRRR, is that in general, they are showing about uh, anywhere from two to four inches of snow in northwest Arkansas with a heavier band of snow setting up somewhere in northwest Arkansas or the River Valley. And uh, obviously those higher res models, uh, they can pick up on those smaller scale details a little bit better. Obviously, there is going to be that band of heavier snowfall that is going to set up. But notice the European model. So this is a this is more of those long range models that can't pick up on those smaller uh, scale details as well as the graph or the HRRR can. And notice how it doesn't have that heavier band of snowfall in Northwest Arkansas. And this is why I don't necessarily buy that. Um, GFS obviously uh, has the heavier snow shifted a little bit farther south and east, but it is picking up maybe on a heavier band trying to move through uh, Tulsa and portions of Washington County as well. So. Starting to get a, a better idea of what's going to go on. Uh, obviously, the NAM is the biggest outlier, Dan, and it's been consistently showing uh, significant snowfall in northwest Arkansas. And I don't think it can be uh, completely discounted. Uh, you know, if you follow on social media, some people might say that the NAM is uh, a little bit of a rough model. And I do think it's overdone quite a bit, but it can't be completely discounted because it has done a pretty good job with the last couple of storm systems, truth be told. So. Uh, a lot of a lot of different details here, but this is why there's so much uncertainty in the forecast because none of these models are are even uh, close to agreeing with each other right now. It's it's actually I know. Exactly it, you want to see another example of models not agreeing? Let's oh, look yeah. at this. This is, this is the <laughs> mediagrams here. Now you choose the line because this is what it's showing. It's showing the snow. Now, granted, they all have the timing. People want to know kind of what the timing is. I really honestly think the timing is going to be right around shortly after noon. So we're talking one, uh, I think around one, two o'clock that the snow will start falling. So what does that mean for church? I had a lot of questions. In fact, I had my discipleship group ask, what time is this going to snow? Church is wondering. I don't think it's in the morning. If there is snow in the morning, it won't fall very heavy because we're not fully saturated yet. We yep. do have that dry layer of air that we have to overcome especially with the additional cold that comes in. But this is a range, and this is just a few models. You can see the model. This doesn't even include the European ensembles. So here is a look at the um, – this right here goes from one inch, which is the 0Z GFS run. Now, keep in mind, this is an 11 to 1 ratio. We yeah. can change this, by the way. We can put this as a – 20 to 1 reader ratio and we'll regenerate and we'll show you what it looks like do you know you can do this josh i did i actually did not know this well know you learn something ratio. new every day yes yes this is so, big so now overall they do show over an inch mm -hmm. uh, for the most part but they range from 1.2 inches to about seven inches and this is a pretty quick snow event I think that's one of the things the models are trending at is that the system is coming in faster. Yes. Um, meaning it's not going to stick around Monday afternoon, evening. That energy is in central and eastern Arkansas. I do agree with that. Not to say that there couldn't be additional energy Monday night into Tuesday morning that might bring a little bit of light snow. But, okay, so that's one model. How about just one model and the differences in snowfall? <laughs> 
Unbelievable. <laughs> so this, again, they all kind of start at 18Z. 18Z, if you're wondering what time that is, you subtract 1,800 minus 6, you get 12. 12 in military time is noon. So this is noon, our time. Noon, the snow starts piling up. One model run says 7. People probably jump on that and go, 7 inches. Oh, 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 oh. We, cover, we cover the frog on it. You know? <laughs> By the way, that's why I'm wearing a hat. I've, I've been so crummy lately, I didn't even feel like taking a shower. So, well, I don't how, about that? how about that for some helmet hair? Yeah, <laughs> right there. That's when you know so we got anyways. winter weather in the forecast. That's winter weather forecasting here. Yes. So, <laughs> um, everybody's seeing that, but you know, look at look at that. That's not the norm. That's not the model. That's not the most likely probable. Can it happen? Yes. It can, and it could be even over that, but probably not. That's blackjack. That's when you get a blackjack. Yeah. There. Yeah. That's <laughs> being at 19 and hitting, thinking you're going to get a two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's I see somebody is. do that at the table. I'm just like, huh? I'm going to double down. Double down on a 19. <laughs> oh, yeah. That wouldn't yeah. be a good idea. No. Nope. Here's the NBM, all right? The, the NBM, now keep in mind, the NBM is not the best on timing. It just kind of takes an average. Um, but it does show that snow will start developing. As you see at the top of the screen, that's noon. One, two, three, four, five. And, you know, another thing you got to look at is it's got two inches for Fayetteville. Okay, great. Let's look at Bentonville. Let's type in KVBT. <clears throat> By the way, you're probably seeing a lot more comments than me, Josh. We'll go, we'll get to uh, them. I, I know there's a ton of them. They're probably how much snow at my house and blah blah blah. But yes. um, you know, yeah, there's two inches right good. there for Bentonville. So winter storm warning criteria is four inches. Mm -hmm. Now with the two to four inch range, I think another reason that's playing into the winter storm warning are the impacts. And with the cold and with the wind chills below zero. And the wind chill watch and the wind chill advisory, all those things are playing into account for the winter storm watch, uh, warning that was issued. I really do think that. Yeah. I think um, so. Now, see, 1%, Jacob, probability of, of thunder. Okay. <laughs> so it's not a thunder snow type event. Can it happen? Probably. This is one of the highest uh, probabilities of snowfall is precip type, though, that I've seen. Even when yeah. it's snowing, it still doesn't get up to 100. It's like so, yeah, liquid equivalent around 1400ths of an inch. So let's look at this. Let's let's check this out. Let's look at the the pivotal weather. Um, Josh, which model do you want to look at here? Let's look at the the oh the 18Z Nam is coming in. 18Z right. Nam. Let's see if it's consistent. Hot off the press. And, and maybe you could answer some questions while I'm do, doing this. Yes. So I'm gonna have scroll to scroll through okay, and. Scroll through. Here. I think you can uh, you could probably pop up and show them, can't you? I think so. Let me test this right here. Uh, let, let's go to Ben's comment real quick. Let me test it. Uh, hmm. No, I can't. Uh -huh. I can't select. No, them. you can't. Huh? Yeah, oh, dang it. And I can only see well, like the ben, most, the twenty most recent comments. What's Ben's comment? Uh, I just said go Nam. <laughs> go Nam, yeah, Team yes. Nam. Everybody wants the most snow. Yes. Uh, let me see. I was here. shoveling I saw, off my driveway. My driveway faces north, by the way, so it never gets sun. So winter is miserable. Yeah, it's that plow time. Yeah. Josh Wise has an interesting comment that I that I do agree with. Uh, looking at water vapor dam, uh, it seems like a two parter, two separate waves is what he's talking about. It is. And that's that. Yeah. That's that next wave that kind of dives in from the northwest. There's almost like a uh, kicker system that pushes the first wave out really quickly. But then that second wave that comes in, the models are going to have a tough time picking up on what exactly goes down with that Monday night to Tuesday. Okay, so here yeah, is uh, I agree. So let's look at a uh, let's look at a wide view here. This is a wide view, so everybody can see because I know there's going to be some other people in Central Arkansas that might be watching. Okay, so here's Sunday. We're at nine Z. We're at twelve. We're at fifteen. We're at eighteen. Yeah. So there it is. So that is from. So now from 18, 12. this is a total snowfall, and this is the Kuchera. 
-hmm. And so let's look at a sounding here real quick. There's no snow and there's precipitation, but look at the dry air. Now that is, I'm telling you what, that is a cold snow profile. Yes. How do we know this? Well, because here is the zero degree Celsius line. And that zero degree Celsius line, here we can bring this up full so you can see it even bigger. Oh, perfect. The zero degree Celsius line right here is uh, basically the zero degree isotherm. Anything to the left of that is below freezing. So we're all below freezing here. <laughs> this is going to be the wet bulb temperature. So we've got some really dry air. So you're going to see some heavy snow on the radar at about noon, but it won't be reaching the ground yet. Yep, that green line's got to get closer. That's very that green line is going to get closer. So watch what happens in the next three hours. Whoop! Boom! Saturated. Yep. Now that doesn't show a dendritic growth zone, but that you know it is there. It's definitely there, and it's snowing at that time. And then, and then that shows dendritic growth zone. The layer depth is 11,415 feet. So we're going to have some big old fat flakes with this with this system. Fresh powder, man, on the Arkansas. So that right coast. there tells you with the dry snow, it's going to pile up pretty fast. And then we look at the NAM here, and now that's really saturated. But watch what happens. This dry air punches in, and then that's the end of it. It's starting to, starting to lose its snowfall already by 6z so it's a pretty quick mover so it's, is it still showing crazy snowfall totals though well it doesn't go out far enough so doesn't let's see here yeah it's keep it keeps shifting south you know yeah, personally no. i like it that it's shifting south because that always means it comes back to the north at the very end it's a it's a pump fake it's an absolute yeah. pump fake like it always is and that's what I said three days ago. I'm surprised the, G the European hasn't pump faked and removed <laughs> all the snow. And sure enough, the next model run, it did. So <laughs> It was just like that. Darla, we already answered the time that it's going to start. It starts at about noon, plus or minus an hour or so. But roads aren't going to be nasty right at 11 and noon. They will, they will get progressively worse. And that's the thing opinion. about this, yeah, and that's the thing about this system. Whether we see uh, an inch, an inch and a half of snow, or you know, five, six inches, it's going to be impactful on the roadways with temperatures well below zero over the next several days. So, uh, you know, that that's what we're most concerned about right now. That's what we know is going to happen. We're certain about the cold air. We're going to get to some comments. This is about uh, fifteen minutes ago. This is a good one, though. What's colder, the weather here or the Razorbacks three-point <laughs> shooting this past week? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I think it's – Dan, I think it's got to be Razorback shooting. I mean, they're yeah. like – And not just from three, but have you seen their free throw percentage? Oh, my uh, I've, I've seen it all year. It's putrid. <laughs> yeah. They got to work oh. on that. <laughs> <laughs> this is savage. This savage is savage here. Yes. Yeah, I know, Jacob. You got a better, you got a better laptop Dang. than me. This computer's loaded. Yeah, it is <laughs> loaded for the extremes. Yeah. Hey, Jacob, I like extreme weather too. So. How about this? Amanda said I went to meteorology school at ISU with the guy Daryl. Is that what you're talking about? Daryl wow. is the man, Amanda. Do you have your dog? Does your dog have snow boots? I don't think I don't think Harper needs those. Oh, yeah, she doesn't. Maybe on the other she's, hand, she's sitting right behind me. By the way, I'm gonna I'm gonna flip my camera real quick here because she's she's just chilling. Is she? Yeah, she's right there. See her? Uh, oh, here's mine. Ready? <laughs> yep. Mercedes. Oh, sweet. She's sunbathing, see? Harper. Oh. Yucky. <laughs> Harper hears you. She's like, she popped oh. up fast. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I think I just made everybody sick there. Um, <laughs> all right. So let's keep going here. What are the chances of Benton County falling into the winter storm warning? Uh, probably maybe 30, 40%. Yeah, I would agree with that. I don't know if you saw, they just issued the winter weather advisory for Southwest Missouri. 
um, just now. Winter weather advisory. Okay. Yeah. Don't watch then. There's... All right. Maybe some people are saying, all right, we got to hurry up on these comments here. Keep babies. Love There's the puppies. Of them. Oh, wow. I just jumped way ahead. Let's see what we got here. Um, how can Benton County not be in the warning? So let's let's look at some stuff here. We're going to look at snow totals. Ready? We're going to look at different models. So let's go to the ARW. This is the Kuchera. Uh -huh. All right, so there's uh that shows that shows a whole lot more in northwest Arkansas and zip in the river valley. Yes, yeah, not a thing. I know there's some central Arkansas folks uh, watching. There is still a fail situation. There is still a bus situation in the scenario. Oh, 100 percent. Right? Yeah, yes. absolutely. Yes, it's not yeah, a slam hate. dunk. All right, let's look at uh, let's look at a different model here. Let's look at the NSSL. Mm -hmm. I, I really don't like how weather uh, pivotal weather resets all the time. That is just that's frustrating. Here, let's do this. Is that a squeaky toy? That is a squeaky toy. She's she's rocking and rolling now, dude. You you say one thing and she is up and at him, and <laughs> she is squeaking away. <laughs> she's, she's ready to go. It's still loading yep. that. Um, okay, come on, let's go here. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to do regions. Let's do central. Re now let's do south central. <laughs> Somebody said, uh, Corey said, I really appreciate the number of tabs open. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a lot of tabs. That's probably why the computer is frying up right now. I can, I can see it smoking. Sizzling. All right. So here we go. Let's go all the way through. So there's the NAM three kilometer. Um, mm -hmm. So it shows five inches in the River Valley, four inches in Northwest Arkansas, but generally three to four inches area wide with Kuchera, which still doesn't do a ratio enough for the 20 to one, in my opinion. So, no. so there you go. That's what, that's what it shows there. So hey, we can go to a different model. Let's go to that, a different model. Oh, what? Yeah. Does that model have a snow depth potentially? Nope. Positive matter? snow depth change. It has the change. Mm -hmm. There's your snow depth change. Interesting. But that's but that already had snow on the ground from Noah. Dunn. Okay, good. Hmm. Yeah, the only reason I'm not going to do snow depth is because not all the models have that, and then it's going to reset itself. So let's uh, that's good. Let's point. see what we got here. Let's look at the latest H triple R. So this is the 18 Z H triple R will probably be done loading. Yep. All right. Yeah, here we go. And there you go. Oh boy. So, like Central Arkansas. Wow. Central Arkansas is missing it now too. Now it's shifting east. Yeah. But see the the higher res models are showing that bullseye of, of higher snowfall totals. There's going to be a swath of heavier snow that occurs uh, in, in northwest North Arkansas. Arkansas too. Yeah. yeah, but this is I'm going to show you. This is not Sunday system. Sunday system is us. See, yep. There's Sunday system. Now watch Monday system comes in right here, and comes in. So one of the best things to look at is. Um, yeah, I'm going to bring this up real quick. So this is the European, uh, it's called the EFI, Extreme Forecast Index. And it shows the potential for higher than expected or overperforming snowfall totals. And right now it's got shift of tail showing that, you know, there's pretty good probability that the River Valley will see more as well as uh, parts of Northwest Arkansas. But see how it drops off in Northwest Arkansas and Benton County? But then again, you look over here and it's got uh, uh, about a, you know, what is that? About a uh, seven to 80 yeah, percent right there. Yeah. And so this isn't even the 12 Z run. The 12 Z run's not done yet. Let's see here. Nope. 12 Z run's not finished yet. So it doesn't have that in there yet. But like the, even the model itself is saying that it might be underdoing things. Oh, and here's another thing, too. Yeah. Let's look at this. I'll show you this. Weather links. We'll go to weather models. We'll go to ensemble links. Here's the GEFS. So this is the 
the ensembles of the GEFS alone. Uh, maybe not. Hold on here. Okay. There we go. There we go. Here's the plumes. Uh, <laughs> what? Oh, that's that's QPF. Sorry. <laughs> Snow. There you go. Still a lot less. My goodness. So yeah. looking at all that, I think it's best to go two to four with some locally higher amounts. Uh, the yep. two to four range is going to be from central and southern Benton County. And then I think there will be some locally higher amounts, but on average, two to four inches area wide. That's what I'm thinking. Hey, a couple of days ago in a weather live stream, that's what you said. As a rough estimate, you said two to four inches with locally higher amounts. And guess what? Despite all the uncertainty and the guidance, that's what we're still going with. So, yeah. But hey, there are two know. distinct systems. There's this system and then there's this system. And both of those will congeal over time. In fact, let's bring this up here. I'm going to load this up real fast. Because this is one of the best things to look at is what is the energy doing on the water vapor? So we'll let that load for the time being. But yeah, two systems. So now we can just kind of bring us back up and what how do i get off of that my viewers oh there we go okay um chihuahua is in for a rude awakening yeah when we go try going to the bathroom how does it snow when it's so cold so believe it or not Roz, it's not how cold it is it can't be too cold to snow but it can be too dry to snow so if you think our antarctica is way colder than we are and they have snow so do you know the wind speed forecast with this storm? Thinking we need to move cattle for wind breaks. Winds aren't going to be overall and super impressive. Yeah, thankfully. Oh, thank goodness. Because if they were, we'd be talking about. But <laughs> just a little bit of wind will make a big difference. So yes. we're talking wind gusts on Sunday around 20, 20, probably 25 miles an hour at the most. Here, I'm going to bring up. Up, uh, I'm going to bring up the ensembles again. Hold on. <clears throat> yeah. Anything else you can think of? I mean, I guess when it comes to the temperatures, because, you know, uh, we're, we're talking a lot about the snow right now, but the, the temperatures are also a big weather story, obviously. And we've known that for, for a long time now. Um, but, uh, I do yeah. anticipate mm -hmm. in Northwest Arkansas, even if we don't have, uh, winds that are, you know, it's certainly not going to be as windy as what we saw a few days ago, but you know, 20, 25 mile an hour winds with, uh, temperatures a little bit below zero. You're talking about wind chill values between uh, minus 20, minus 25 degrees. That is a uh, extreme cold. So I hope everybody out there, uh, has access to heat and, uh, has insulated their pipes because this is going to be. This is going to be the real deal when it comes to the temperatures for an extended period of time. See, and I was calling for a record low on Tuesday uh, from like Monday of this past week because zero is the record, and I think that's that's what we're going to be. Minus 19 on the ground over Nebraska. How about that? Just got that comment. So, look, there's your winds right there, about 10, 15 miles an hour out of the north with um, – about 20 mile an hour gusts. It's going to be brutal. That's outside. what I think we have. It's not going to, it's not going to be very windy. With this system. It's going to be cold, but it's just yeah. not going to be super windy. The thing is, um, is that the lighter the winds, the, uh, the better. The so we can bring, I guess we could bring up some model data here. Mm -hmm. This is going to be kind of hard to bring up because it's going to be so slow. Is it is it is it going pretty crazy? It's lagging a little bit now. Just a little yeah. bit. Not not too much. Big big time. Yeah. These okay, so here is the uh, GFS. We'll let this load. Are the year You what? These computers have been overdrive mode, man, over the last yeah. several days with all these storm systems. It's like even they are over so here's the European. The European has that quick wave coming in because, but still, 
mesoscale banding can lead to more snow than what it shows yeah easily it's actually uptrended a little bit because and then it the just kind of sets up over i don't know that seems suspicious the, the other day i just zipped through with nothing right yeah well there's yeah. like nothing in arkansas and like then there's thing. this Regardless, I think snow is coming, and I, I, we're, um, Zach Gilday is going to be making an accumulation map today. Yeah, and we'll fine tune it. But yeah, I, it looks like a nice little band. I think there's going to be a band of four to five inches in some locations plus over northwest Arkansas. And then here is a look at. Um, so here's the vorticity. Look at look at all the uncertainty, but. See, this is kind of wrecking the curvature a little bit with this system coming in. So there that it is. To... It's definitely strong. Now, see, I don't know if it's going to be weakening as fast as it shows. You see how fast it weakens it? Yeah, see, it knows it's strong either. there. But look at how it just falls apart. That just doesn't seem right to me. And then uh, it's got all that energy down south. I don't know about that. But. Just seems a little overdone, a little overboard. I mean, you look at the water. Let's look at some. Uh, at so you, you saw the snowfall accumulations. Let's look at the graph. This is the four kilometer graph. See, no snow, no snow, no snow. Here it comes right around noon, starting to show up. I think that you take that, and I know, Josh, I say normally subtract an inch, but we don't have the melting to deal with, so you add an inch. Yep, with the snow ratios taken into account. Yep, and then like you could that. add another inch for banding. Yes, which, which that – see, that's the thing about these systems with every winter weather event is that the, the banding, you, you can't – you can't forecast where that's going to set up. That's that's nope. truly random. So that's why we give a general snowfall total with uh, locally higher amounts possible. And that's why we're going two to four. But see, and that, there's that the reason why Benton County doesn't. Yeah. So that shows a band. That shows a band of four to six. And yeah. that makes sense over higher elevations. Now, here's the deal, okay, people, uh, for those that are wondering, you're seeing this total – and you're going, oh, 2.9 in Huntsville. That's all we're getting. Yeah. The model is trying to predict a system that's not even on the coast yet within 10 miles of where it's going to snow. We're not that good. Nobody's yeah. that good. No AI is going to get that forecast correct. So, you know, that could shift farther north. And this is why we've been holding off on making an official snowfall map ourselves because we, we don't have the complete uh, puzzle yet. We don't have all the puzzle pieces yeah. we need in order to do that. And so uh, I think now that the system is starting to get on shore within the next few <laughs> hours, or so, we're going to have a better idea of what's going on. Well, let's, uh, so I think we've kind of summed up everything. I think we kind of brought everything into light. We'll, uh, we'll spend the next five, 10 minutes a answering comments, maybe looking at some comments. How about this? We'll have all that hat hair this weekend after wearing beanies and scarves to stay warm. Ain't that the <laughs> truth? Yep. Grand Lake did have lake effect snow. I don't know if you saw that or not, but lake effect snow did happen um, today, as a matter of fact. Yes. A bit more developed on the whole 18Z NAM. Yeah, Josh is on Can't here too. Yeah. Should look at soundings and the sublimation issue that could limit totals we did we looked at that there's a very dry air in the low levels but the way it's saturated that's going to disappear by the afternoon i don't think they're going to be clear by monday um some of it will if they plow but the secondary roads that aren't plowed will be a mess thankfully it's if gonna be i understand at this moment the best we can say it's coming in between sometime one and two and we will have anywhere from one to seven that's one is i think a little underdone now yes. if you're in the river valley one is not out of the question or under one is out of the question not out of the question 
Mm -hmm. Oh, we lost to Josh. We're a little bit laggy. Right hey, now. how about this? Alex Bogard said, despite we're very, yeah. Despite the inclement weather, my Texans or pa Packers are playing both this weekend. Texans are being playing here just about a half hour now. I don't want to talk about the Texans right now. And uh, I got to check out the drone video. I've just been so underwater. I laid in bed for a long, long time uh, yesterday. So, oh, thank you, Becky. I appreciate it. <laughs> wow, I'm trying to that. click. Is the heat off in my house? No, but it's not running right now, John. So we're good. <laughs> yeah, we have the we have the heat off in the house right now. We just wow. have all the windows opened up, as you could tell. Nice. I did warm up the pool though, in case it's gonna freeze, which I'm scared about. <laughs> you don't have a weenie dog. Up oh, there goes my camera. The cameras are going in and out now. The lag is caught up. That's exactly right. So Mitchell said it right here. Yeah, Josh, I think we're crapping out. Yeah. There we go. I stopped I stopped streaming the uh, weather computer. Can you hear me better? I don't think 108 inches is going to happen. Yeah, I can hear you, but we're, we're okay. just we're cutting in and out. Yeah, we are. It's because of the weather computer. If I close that, we're going to be good. Now we're good. Now you can hear Perfect. me. Yo, don't have the eight ball in the uh, in the home. So <laughs> now the power is too great. It has here. to stay in the weather lab. It has to be contained. We can't release it uh, anywhere else. Yeah, it's like Colby effect. No the ice. The ice freezing rain that ain't happening. No way. This is not a freezing rain scenario. Euro has yep. been out to lunch for days. We don't know that. Maybe the Euro is right and the only one that's been right. Yeah. yeah well, There's Andrew, you tell me what's going to happen. He says, so dusting the six <laughs> inches. Got it right. Well, that's what that's what this shows. Hey, I, I mean, mean, you probably get it right between that. Yeah. I mean, you're, you'll get it right with that. <laughs> yeah. There's your dusting the six inches. <laughs> I mean – even the mediogram is showing that, so <laughs> it's you insane. pick which line is correct. It's it's uh it's tough. Winter I hate winter weather so much with a passion. I really do. <laughs> it's the worst. When well, you have to forecast it, of course. Yeah. Because before I started forecasting it, I thought it was great. Not Hopefully the hogs eat up in Florida. You got it. Please. Ah, Nelson's Hardware. We got two. Man, the inner tubes, they are awesome. They are the best. They're so fun. In powder snow, you can cruise down those hills. Yeah, go to Nelson's Hardware in uh, Cave Springs. Legit place to buy inner tubes. I mean, they made Dan Scott fly last year uh, when we had that. Yeah. Oh, you, you flew down that hill. That was an insane video. Oh, man, I just got a picture here that came up on my memories. I wonder why that popped up. That's pretty crazy. It's trying to remind you of some huh. past events. Yeah, it was when I took a picture with uh, Back Road Anthem. I don't know if you guys remember Back Road Anthem in the country group that was up and coming, and Craig Strickland was the guy that died in the um, in the duck hunting accidents when his boat capsized and um that's crazy man that i just got that that picture it was wild wow do you know what i'm talking about i don't i'm not familiar with back road anthem i'm not familiar with that incident either they were a pretty awesome band here i'll see if i can bring up this photo that's a sad story with the the duck Accident. It really is. Yeah. But that was uh, in 2015. You, you remember that epic storm that brought all the sun and all that stuff? Uh, brought all this, uh, brought the extreme flooding. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Here, I'll show you real quick. I'm going to drag this over real fast. Uh, this is kind of going off on a tangent, but I just got this. I just got this message and I got to show you this. So, yeah, there's Back Road Anthem right there. And then there's Craig Strickland 
the person that died in the um in that duck hunting accident. It was Winter Storm Goliath. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. I, I do remember this event for 2015. And then this is Josh Bryant right here. But uh, how was the workout? Awesome. Awesome. We're doing a Facebook Live, Josh and I. I did over four miles. Craig was an awesome dude. And Josh Bryant's actually married to Kristen Chenoweth. So that's pretty, pretty wild. Oh, man. But uh, uh, but anyways, yeah, those are yes. crazy times. So, so to sum it up, uh, we just still don't have a clue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much how you can sum it up right there. You, you take all the puzzle pieces together that we got, and our answer is who knows. Yeah. <laughs> but, we'll but, find out tomorrow night. Yeah, yeah. We'll find out when the event comes through. But that, I mean, that goes back again. I mean, I know social media, we were talking about this the other uh, other day, Dan. Social media does definitely make these things harder. It, it, it really does. Um, because you're probably seeing like uh, every three hours some crazy snowfall map or some crazy tweet. And, uh, you know, it's tough. It's tough. But uh, that's why we're, we're just trying to be as responsible as possible with this forecasting process. Because, you know, Nobody really knows what's going to go down with this event. It's a very low confidence event right now. I don't advise that. I'm only I'm only climbing it up to like 40 degrees and then I turn it off. I just don't want the pool temperature to drop below freezing. That's the only reason I'm doing that. So I do think it's hard on the temp, but I don't. I'm not doing that full time. I'm just doing it briefly to to get the water temperature up above 32. That's all I care about. Yeah. So That's very good. So that just want to answer that question. Andrew says, "Ah, don't have a clue. That's a typical weather person answer." Well, not all the time. Not all the time. No. Nope. Not all the time. And uh, you know, this is just one of those systems that there's a lot of smaller scale details that we have to fine tune that we can't fine tune until the system comes on shore. That's been uh, the main point over the last several days is that the system is thousands of miles away from our area and the models can't pick up on those things. And uh, we really can't figure those things out until it, until it does arrive on the West coast. So we'll have a better idea within the next 12 hours for sure. Yep. Um, someone had a good comment on here. Uh, does the system overproducing in Oregon help our forecasting? I mean, it shows the potential that all the ensembles could be on the underside or the yep. lower side. That's the Honesty is the best policy. How can you know, honestly, when you look yeah. at this and you see, you see these ranges? This is, you choose a line. If you're a big snow lover, you're probably wanting seven. If you hate snow, you're probably around one. And, you know, it's like you choose. And then on top of that, here's the same model. This isn't yeah. even a different model. This is the same model with different member runs. So... Hey, I have a yeah. quick question. Do you mind doing this yeah. for me? Can I you, don't mind at all. Can you go to the Mediogram? And I know we got some social Arkansas viewers here. Can you uh, yeah. go to the Mediogram for uh, Little Rock? I'm just curious. Mr. I'm just curious to see what, what Little Rock has for that Mediogram. Real quick. Because uh, right. I bet it's just as wide in terms of the range of snowfall totals. I'm willing to bet. So here is LIT. So we're ranging from, first of all, it doesn't know when it starts. Yeah. But it shows that second wave coming in. So the, the long range models, the global are like five and a half to six. Mm -hmm. And the other ones are a lot less. So mm -hmm. yeah, to sum that up, it doesn't know either. One all <laughs> the way to six inches. Exactly. I mean, just go middle of the road. That's what you do. You don't go overboard. You don't go crazy with totals. You don't go on the high end because you're going to be eagerly and nervously anticipating that. Two to four inches area wide with some locally higher amounts. And once we start seeing the banding coming in, then we're like, hey, we're going to get more. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't look like the back end is coming through really fast because the kicker system's pushing it out, then then we'll get maybe even less. So that's that's what we're having. 
And that's the thing about this system, too. The good news is, first of all, we got Martin Luther King Jr. Day coming up tomorrow. So yep. the schools don't have to worry about making a decision for tomorrow. And regardless. Two days. Yeah. Tomorrow Sunday. But, yeah, Sunday, I know what yeah. you mean. Yeah. 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 Um, but regardless, if we have, you know, on the lower end of the snowfall tolls or the system overproduces, it's going to cause pretty big time impacts on the roadways uh, because of how cold it is outside. And so uh, we're not dealing with borderline freezing temperatures anymore. We're not dealing with storm systems that we've had over the last couple of weeks where, you know, is it going to do this? Is it going to do that? It's going to snow. But in terms of snowfall totals, I think two to four inches uh, seems like a pretty, pretty safe bet right now. For sure. I think so, too. And the two inches is for the lesser amounts where the banding doesn't set up. And yep. the other one, um, the, you know, the four inches is for some of the heavier snow. But four Absolutely. inches, that's winter storm criteria right there, four and yeah. greater. Plowable now, snow. there is another thing to look at. There's a thing called the experimental winter storm outlook. So this shows the probability of exceeding warning criteria. Now, remember, these probabilities are based on models that, um, you know, typically play middle of the road. So here's a look at. So clearly the models hint that, hey, there's a 50 to 80 percent of this exceeding winter storm criteria over central and eastern Arkansas. And that's from that second wave. But the first wave, 30 to 50 percent of it exceeding, which is four inches or greater. Notice how Benton County really isn't in that, isn't included in that. Yep. It's more a little bit farther south, which lines up with some of the trends that we're seeing. Oh, what's that there? Oh, is that that's is that just, three? Yeah, day? that's just the day one through four. So the probable here's the probabilistic winter storm severity index. If you've seen this, what's the chance that we have major impacts? You know, it doesn't show much because it's basing that on the amount of snow that it expects. And so here's moderate impacts. It doesn't even really have moderate impacts. There you go. Yeah. So it's from that first wave. Because then you notice as you go a little bit further along in time there, it shifts to the south and east. Now, see, this looks really rough, but this is just minor impacts. So there's the probability of minor impacts. So there will be minor impacts, major not necessarily in central Arkansas. It shows a little bit of probability of major impacts, but we shall see what happens. Um, just to let you know, this is what Tulsa is going with for their winter storm totals. This is a good thing to show their decision support. I bet it's two to four. And so here's their, here's their total. Oh, they downed it. Yep. They definitely downed it. Mm -hmm. To less. Whoops. What happened there? Oh, that just takes it to that Accidentally page. clicked on that. Uh, so here you go. Three and a half. When they used to have five, there's the seven day expected total. Three to four. So there you go. There you have yeah. it. That covers it. So summing it all up very quickly. Snow is coming tomorrow morning uh, in uh, northeast Oklahoma. It moves into northwest Arkansas right across the border around noon, maybe a little before noon. Moves into the I-49 corridor probably during the early afternoon, noon to 1. It will be snowing heaviest in the evening. So evening church services probably going to be an issue. Roads will start getting bad later on in the evening, the more snow that comes down. Uh, it will stick on the roads. There will be snow on the roads for Monday unless they're plowed, all that stuff. And so Angie you said it best right there. Winter weather is the hardest to predict, no doubt. Absolutely. Not just here in northwest Arkansas, but she said Pennsylvania. It's hard there too. <laughs> it's hard from top to bottom. <laughs> I did not get the, the Baja blasts. Damn. Yeah, oh. I know. Yeah. Maybe you got to make a last-second run here. Forget the bread and milk. 
It's Baja the collab Blast. we didn't know we needed. Yeah, that's right. So Zach is in the weather lab. He's looking at the latest. He's going to have a full report on KNWA News at 6 and 10. This will be my last report for the day. I've got some football games to watch. There's nothing else we can do right now. You know the snow totals. Um, tomorrow morning, zero Z, if something drastically changes, we'll post something. But uh, that's why I think we're going to get that. Yeah. Basically, to sum it up, I think it's time to play some walkabout mini golf. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sounds like a plan. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Hope you got all your questions answered. I know some might have taken a little longer than what you wanted, but uh, thanks for hanging on and appreciate you guys. And uh, um, Memphis, you guys could be getting a lot more than than what uh, we're getting. And that's Thank because the way the system evolves, you have a longer period of precipitation. So, yeah. All right, guys. You'll still get some snow, but it won't be good snow packing snow. You're going to pick it up and you're going to try to make a snowball. And it's just going to fall apart until we start getting some melting from the sun, then it'll become good snowball snow a little yes. bit later on. Good sledding. All right. Yeah. Walk about mini golf, Josh. It's time. It's time. Boom, boom, boom. I'm coming boom. for you. I'm going to beat you for the first time ever. I haven't beat really? you a single time. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to predict that like you're the you're the European model on this uh, yeah. snowstorm. I'm doubling down on a 19. <laughs> <laughs> David said that mini golf game is great. It is so fun. It's, it's so cool. cool. So. All right. See you guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. God bless. Be safe. Stay warm. And we'll see you tomorrow. I'll be in the weather lab early tomorrow. We'll give you all the details and we'll do another live update as the snow is coming in. So you're not going to be out of the know. All right. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Go logs.